Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to season your stainless steel pan in order to get a non-stick surface. So let's head over to the stove and get started. Okay, so in order to create our non-stick surface, what we need to do is heat up our pan for about two minutes. So I'm just going to light the stove here. Good, so we can put on our timer. You just need to put on your timer for two minutes and make sure the pan is very hot. Once we get that done, once we get the pan heated up nicely, we then gonna add a little bit of coconut oil and we are gonna swirl it around. Now, once you get this heated, it's gonna start to smoke. Um, that's all right. Um, we will add the oil, we will try to swirl it around to cover most of the surface and the sides and after which we will turn off the fire and leave the pan to cool completely. So I will be back in about two minutes time. Okay, so now that our pan is extremely hot, we're now gonna add our coconut oil in order to create our non-stick surface. Now we don't ever want to use olive oil for this but we use um, coconut oil because it has a higher smoking point. So be very careful. Remember the pan is hot and so the oil is gonna be hot. So be careful how you swirl this around so that you don't splash any oil on yourself. But just coat all the sides as the best you can and um, coat everything nicely. And then you will turn off the fire and allow it to cool completely. And once it cools completely, we will move over to the, to the next step. Okay guys, so now that our pan is completely cool, we're now gonna empty out the excess oil. Okay. And now I'm just gonna take a paper towel and wipe down the pan again to remove some of the extra oil. And basically that's it. Our pan is now seasoned with a non-stick surface. Now, if you have to prepare anything in this pan, in washing it, you don't want to use soap because if you use soap, it will strip what we just created. So what you'd want to do is simply rinse it out with some clean water and um, that's all you want to do. If you do use soap, then you will simply have to do this process all over again. But um, if you want to maintain your non-stick surface, then in washing, you simply rinse it out with a, a sponge and clean water, but don't use any soap. So once again, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and give the video the thumbs up. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.